Hi, Chef K here. We're back with our friendship starter from page 176 of our latest cookbook, Divine Cuisine. If you want to get it, it's now available in a digital form, so you can download it um, or get the hard copy at any one of your favorite booksellers, Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, etc. There, It's a very good book. Just get it. And also, if you like these videos, leave me a comment. You know, share them. Let's get the word out because that's what we're doing. We're talking about why this is called the friendship starter, that they were out giving it. They were sowing it. We said that the essence of Christian life is to sow, to give and to receive. That's so important. Jesus talked about it in Mark 4, that the sower sows the word. What's sowing? It's something that you're going to take a seed, plant it in the ground, and get a return, right? So it never, never comes back just as one seed, so why sow it? If it's only going to come back as one seed. It comes back as a multiple, a great amount of seed. It's like our starter. If we take a little bit, just a little bit, and we take care of it, we continue with it, it's been sown to us, it will feed us forever. It go on and on and on and on, as long as we take care of it. Same as what Jesus is talking about in Mark 4. He says, the sower sows the word. First thing, before he even talks about that, he says, hearken to this. Listen to it. It's important for you. So, if it was important then, it's important now. So, hearken to it. What's hearken mean? It means to listen intentively. It means to listen without uh, already formulating other thoughts, right? You know, when people are talking to you, what are you doing? Are you hearing them or are you concentrating on what your response is going to be? Well, Jesus says, hearken, listen, don't worry about the response. I'm going to teach you the response. The response is the sower sows the word that the focus is on the word of God. That's important. The word of God is the seed. As you plant it forth, it's going to bring back a return to you. Okay, so hearken and listen to it. He teaches that the word is the seed. The seed grows. I have fruit trees in my backyard. Somebody started them from a little seed. There's apples and cherries and pears. And every year, for 20, 30 years, these trees have been producing fruit. But they all just started with one little seed. Let that seed be your word. Your word will go forth, come back. So the Bible says it will not return void or empty to you. Now, someone might tell you, well, you know, that confession stuff doesn't work. I've been a Christian for 50 years, and that confession stuff doesn't work. Well, they just lied to you, because that's how they became a Christian through the confession stuff. It says in Romans that you must confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and so shall you be saved. Believe, confess. Believe, confess. That confession stuff does work. So when you have a need, believe and confess because you're sowing the word of God and that will help you. Believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and so it shall be. That's how God created heaven and earth. He said, let there be. And then what's the next thing? And it was so. All right, we're going to continue on with this and our starter. So we'll be back again tomorrow. Remember, God is on your side.